Hi, this is Kai, and this is another Transformer review. And, of course, as you can see, I have the War for Cybertron Kingdom RC. Now, just on a just on a baseline, I usually don't like the like the Fems as much, just because they always have these giant backpacks on their back. Like with Alita, that was the problem. Uh, but usually you can take them off and use it as a stand and they look a bit more cartoon accurate. So that's pretty good. But also, usually if you lift up the, like you transform them and you lift it up, they kind of just look like they're all just squished in there. You know, they don't actually look like they transform. They just look like they put a shell on them. So usually that's what a problem I have with them. Usually when they're in their robot mode, I'm like, yeah, they're really good. But then when they transform, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, anyway, just real quick, I did get the Optimus Prime Hollow card here, which looks really nice, I would say. I do already have him, so yeah, but it's fine. And of course, let's look at the weapon she has. She has a pretty standard weapon, nothing special, just a cheaply made pistol so nothing cool there and now let's actually look at her herself sorry about that look at that real quick okay oh shoot so she looks very very nice a very nice pink color of course what other color is that very nice pastels you know her face looks really nice if i were to say anything her her face looks really, really nice. Nice soft features on there. The eye color is really nice. Wish there would be a little bit more detail on the head instead of it just being white. But there are a lot of uh, little details on there. But I wish there was more color on the head. And uh, of course, you know, she has standard movements. You know, she got a twist at the thigh. Double jointed knees. Got thing right there. A ball joints, you know, got a twist in the bicep and got a bend, and you can move her, move her arms and stuff. She got twist at the hip, you know, ball joint right there, nice spread. One thing that I can say that's real prop her head joint is really, really tight. Like, let's see here if I can, uh, hey, you can see it just goes back. Like, maybe that. You have to really twist it to make it do anything. And she can't really move her head too much at all. So, uh, other than that, the joints move well. She moves well. She poses well. And the other problem is, of course, the backpack. But, as we know, take that off. And then, you know, yep, uh, they have a little hole right there that you can uh, use to stand her on. And you know, she stands there, and then, voila, ding. She could stand on there, which I do kind of like that, you know, because you're not always, because she looks more cartoon accurate like this. So I do like the, ad the idea that she does come with a stand. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's transform her. So, yes, she is all transformed, and my fears rang true. Just squish her into the little casing, and there you go. Obviously, I'm not going to be posing her in a... Whatever this is. It, seriously. It, I know you need to get better at a, at with with fems. Like I understand, you know, they're slimmer and stuff like that, but you could do better. Or maybe stop making fems so stereotypical. I'm just saying. But this is just kind of disappointing. Because, like, what are you even supposed to do with her? You can't. You got 
Like, you need to squish your legs in there, but the problem is, they just pop right back out. Like, there's, because you're just squishing them in there and hope they stay. This is just bad. This is just bad. There's not really much to say. Like, I mean, you look at her like this, you know, she looks, well, you know, like classic RC, you know, looks nice. Kind of looks like a mouse. Like, Definitely be one of those mouses that only work half of the time. Uh, um, yeah, definitely. I'd say if you want an RC, get it. But uh, I can understand completely why you wouldn't. I would say you need an RC to pose, get her, because she is really good for that. She poses really well. But if you want an RC as a car, nope. Because I haven't seen, yeah, I haven't seen an RC. Uh, let's see here. Um, the only femme that I've seen that actually has a good transformation is Chromia. Other than that, the rest of them have been like, ugh. Like, ugh, no. They've all been kind of the same sort of a shell former. You could, think, you could call it, yeah, shell former because it's just, whoop. So, yeah. I would say if I were to give this a rating, um, 4 out of 10 Autobot symbols because the posing's really good, but, like, come on, Hasbro, get a better transformation. This sucks. Like, or, or just redesign the fens, you know, they don't have to be this sleek design, you know, you, like, I understand, you know, you can have, you know, Feminine design, you know, that's fine. No, I'm not complaining. But it's just, you know, like you could do something. You could do something. <laughs> well, I guess that is all.